What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It is currently really windy outside so hopefully I can fix the audio and you can hear me but it is Thanksgiving. As you're seeing this is before Christmas so Merry Christmas, Happy Almost Christmas and so you saw the title and I am letting books decide what I'm going to buy for Christmas gifts and I saw this video done by Nicole over at A Beautiful Chaos of Books. I love her channel, she's awesome, please go and subscribe to her. She has so many creative ideas and I just loved this video so definitely go over and show her some love on that video because it was so fun. You've seen me do books control what I eat for 24 hours and if you haven't it will be up here and I've been wanting to do more videos like that but it's hard when you kind of get burnt out so I'm coming back with them like sporadically. I'm not gonna just keep doing it but I do enjoy filming those videos. Anyway I'm going to head over to my bookshelf right here and pick four books. So in Nicole's video she had a budget and I will also have a budget and my budget is not to exceed over $30. And I feel like that's fine. Um, Some of the gifts I'm gonna get are small but I don't know what the object's going to be. So in Nicole's video she picked up a random book, flipped to a random page and the first object that was feasible and in her budget range to buy she chose. So that's the gist of the video. I'm just really eager to go um, and I will be documenting myself buying everything even if I have to buy it online or something because I feel like that's going to happen but I thought I would film this today because we are going Black Friday shopping tonight and tomorrow so I thought I would just start this video here. So let's just start the video. If you enjoy this give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to become a paperback pale and see more crazy videos like this. Let's Head over to my bookshelf, pick out four books, and then let's just get started. So here's round one, I guess, because I don't know if all of these books are going to work out. But the first one I'm going with is This Song Will Save Your Life because it has music in it. And hopefully I can get headphones or something from this. So I'm going to open the book to a random page, page 132. Okay, this is actually gonna work out. We have two things that I could get. I have some music going on right here where it says, um, Shar and I alternated songs for the next half hour. So I played some oldies, The Contour, James Brown, stuff like that. That was my dad's favorite sort of music to play. And I wondered how he spent a Thursday night at home without me. Shar was playing more 80s, Prince, Edwin Collins, Transvision, Vamp, um, he put on New Order's Temptation and we both took off our headphones. So headphones, they only look green when I wear a green shirt. So I have headphones and green shirt. And so I think that this is going to be my dad's pick because I could get him an eagle shirt and headphones because he's been wanting headphones. There we go. This is starting off great. And I should probably write this down because I feel like I'll forget it. The next book is Tosh Hart's Tolstoy, and I think I'm gonna go to the back for this one. Um, let's see. He shakes his head and breaks our gaze to stare at the DVD collection behind me. Let's go. We're gonna get a DVD from this. Okay, we're getting a DVD from this and this is probably going to be for my brother because he likes DVDs. Um, but I don't know what DVD I'll get him, but we'll find out in this video. I'm just going to see if there's one other thing that I could get him in this, but for now we're going strong. So I'm beginning to sense a theme here where we're just going to be getting shirts because next line says I'm at Old Navy monitoring the floor and fitting rooms when I see Jay Prasad browsing a row of button-up plaid shirts. I don't even know if my brother would wear that, but we're gonna write it down and see. So, second person done, two more to go. <laughs> Next book is Lucky in Love, um, and maybe I can get Jamie something. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. So I picked this book because it is about a girl who wins the lottery, so I figured that she would be buying things in here. Okay, I needed to change angles because my lighting was being weird, but... So I opened Lucky in Love and the first page says Algebra Book, and I'm just not gonna do that to Jamie because she doesn't like algebra at all. And I don't think anyone would want an algebra book for Christmas <laughs> or any holiday, even for your birthday. No way. Um, so let's try this again. I picked this book because it's about a girl who wins the lottery, so I could get her a lottery ticket or something, hopefully. Um... <sighs> oh, I'm gonna do her so dirty. It says, toothbrush. <laughs> so, let's hope nobody hears me filming this because then you'll all know what I'm getting you. Let's try one more time. Yo, okay. So we've got pajama bottoms, a toothbrush, and I'm gonna write down phone because I see something. I just keep seeing phone. It says Wheezy Cup. She loves her Wheezy Cups. Yo, I don't know how Nicole got bad ones because mine is great right now. Except the toothbrush. <laughs> Booze, guitar, <laughs> um, jeans and hoodies, a Dementor robe. <laughs> if I just got my mom a Dementor robe. <laughs> Can I just get one for myself? Um, Sorry that this lighting hates me and that someone's dog is barking outside. But here we go. We've got my dad. We have headphones, a green t-shirt, which I think I'm gonna just get an Eagles t-shirt um, for my brother, a DVD, and possibly a button-up plaid shirt. I don't know if he would ever wear that, but we'll see. For Jamie, we have a toothbrush, <laughs> pajama bottoms, and something for her phone. And then for my mom, we have Reese cups, a guitar, a hamper, booze, and a Dementor robe. <laughs> but the Dementor robe actually might be for me. Um, there we go. There is a process. I will see you guys in the next clip when I start buying things. So until then, bye. What's up guys? It is December 11th. I am here to update you on some of the things that have happened. I received the shirt that I bought for Jamie in the mail and it's cool. I'm excited to give it to her. For her, I just have to get her pajama bottoms and I will be finished. I bought a toothbrush off of Etsy. It is a bamboo type one. It's like ego friendly. So I bought it on Etsy. I'll have the screenshot on the screen. So Jamie is basically finished. I still have to get my dad, still have to get my mom, which will happen next week because it's finals this week. And I have to repick the book for my brother because I just figured that everything I picked for him, it just didn't work out. 
he uses Netflix, he uses YouTube, like he doesn't really use DVDs, I don't think he really has a DVD player. So I just don't want to buy him something that he's not going to enjoy. I don't want to just put my money to waste on something, so I'm just going to repick for him right now and get the ball rolling basically. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to pick from the Spectacular Nail and You Asked for Perfect. So I'm going to start with this one first and just flip and see what we've got. Um... <sighs> He's close enough I can smell the spearmint and basil. So gum? I guess I'll get him some spearmint gum. Um, I don't- you can't go wrong with gum. So on the screen we've got gum. Um, let's see if there's anything else. There's a chair. That's definitely out of my budget. Uh, and there's really nothing here that I can like buy or that's like in my range. So we're just gonna skip. So far we have spearmint gum. Beautiful, what a good gift. Okay, my mom told me yesterday that he already got us stuff and wrapped it. So this needs to be good. I don't like, I just can't, I can't just give him gum for Christmas. That would be horrible. I'd be a terrible sibling to just give him gum. <laughs> okay, this was all about books. He likes to read, like me, um, but he doesn't like my recommendations. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say that, but every time I try to recommend him a book, he's like, I have too many books, please stop. <laughs> um, which is fine, but he should really read Daisy Jones and the Six. I've been trying to tell him to read it. That and Evelyn Hugo, I'm like, you would really enjoy it. So he should read it. So hopefully one of those books I could get him because this says, um, with as much reading as you do, you should try writing your own book. Um, I'm serious, I tell her, I'll bet you could write a science fiction novel that'll sell millions of copies. Um, I don't really have a science fiction book that I could recommend him unless I just give him Hank Green's book because that's what I'm reading right now. So maybe, maybe we'll gift him Hank Green's book, see how much it is on Amazon, see what I can get with my Barnes & Noble membership. These two pages talk a lot about McDonald's. I could honestly just order him some McDonald's on Christmas or I'll see if I can get like a McDonald's gift card something like that um if you want to give someone something really terrible just open a book and they'll do the job for you so for my brother we have spearmint gum a mcdonald's gift card and this <laughs> and an absolutely remarkable thing by hank green i'm currently reading this it's a sci-fi book i think he would enjoy it i don't know if he reads sci-fi i know usually he reads like non-fiction but i'm really enjoying it and i think he would like it as well but who knows because <laughs> i don't know hopefully this is a good gift i'm kind of scared <laughs> because I feel like I'm just doing him really dirty right now, but I know he likes McDonald's, so hopefully that's the one thing he likes. So I was actually going to get my brother a McDonald's gift card, but I found out that he's now gluten-free and he doesn't eat McDonald's anymore, so I just ended up getting him the gum and the book. So I'm just giving him food and a book, so great. My camera's dying, so I need to make this really quick, but hi, it is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, Have a, hope you're having a great day. I had a lot of fun with this video, it was just very stressful. I ended up buying everything that you've seen in this video, besides getting something for my dad. We just ended up getting him something else, so I wasn't able to fit to the video, but that's fine. So that is all I really wanted to say for my outro. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time.